All right, I want to pick up actually in this segment from where I started module 4. Actually, this is the title of module 4, and I explained that the energy analysis term is related to the first law of thermal, and then we said that closed systems is where um, basically there will be no mass in or mass out that is carrying its energy to the system or out of the system. Okay, so this was my uh, what I uh, covered, and then what I said was is the, I actually also said that this Q is heat transfer, right? And I also said that this is work, right? And then I also kind of like go a little into a tangent and I said that there's a work term that I didn't discuss yet. It is boundary work. It is the only new stuff in module four in terms of what I covered in module two and module three. I already covered everything else that you're looking on the page right now, okay? So then what happens is, you know, um, I'm going to connect this to the module 2 and module 3. Now I'm going to do the module 2. And over there, we call this one, if you remember, Q net. Okay? And we also call the negative of this. So basically, we call this a minus W net. Okay? So, and if I rewrite it, it is more convenient to rewrite that way. Q net minus W net will be equal to delta energy of the system. Right? So Q net is q in minus q out my w net is equal to my w out minus w in and now there's a new term that i just uh, discussed quite in detail boundary work when the boundary is moving okay it, it is sometimes zero it is sometimes not zero you have to analyze the case and i made a case fairly clearly in my opinion at least that this is the formula for it, okay? And I said that there are three types of expansion or compression process that we can go through. And isothermal was one of them, which temperature is constant. Isobaric, pressure is constant. Polytropic means that P times V to the power of N is constant. I also want to touch upon this because this, this formula is is used a lot, the, 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 the font in orange is used a lot. Uh, so let me look at this delta E of the system because I didn't really touch upon that yet and I will say that this will be the delta kinetic energy plus delta potential energy plus delta capital U which is the internal energy. Okay, And I also said that if the system is stationary, right? If this system is stationary, the velocity of it will be zero. So this, you know, will be zero, right? And if it is stationary, the potential energy is not changing because it's not going up and up or down. So then actually you can kind of simplify this to this. Delta U of the system simply becomes delta U. So I can also write Q net minus W net will be equal to delta U, right? Um, so that's pretty much it actually Except there's only one other thing that I want to talk about with you today and that is the um, cycles as you know uh, Let's try cycle before I talk so I'll get confused um, As you know the thermodynamic cycle and I gave the example of this one to two fairly generic two to three three to one yeah, the, the, the arrows doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but uh, the point is this if I start here I end here if I start here, I end here. So the initial and the final state is the same, okay? Um, so that kind of, you know, think about this term. I'm looking over here. This will be zero. There will be no change. So as I'm starting and ending at the same point, this delta U will be zero. So I can simply go ahead and write Q net, oops, minus W net will be equal to zero. So from here, I get my Q net is equal to W net, okay? That's pretty much it. For the cycle okay like I said I covered everything associated within the previous modules now I'm going to solve a question to illustrate how everything comes together but the new or the novel concept over here is still this and I covered this in detail okay so I'll be back with a question thank you for watching the segment